Let's start with water. In health structures, you need to provide water in sufficient quantity and quality. Quality means water without pathogens. That means water should be free of viruses and bacteria and contain the right amount of free residual chlorine. Before being treated, water needs to have low turbidity. It has to be clear. If you can see the ring at the bottom of the turbidimeter, then the water is clear enough. Avoid toxic components like pesticides or heavy metals. People drinking the water should also be satisfied with its quality. MSF should also provide water in sufficient quantity. The quantity needed varies depending on the type of activity. Medical consultations require clean water for care, washing and maintenance, but also drinking water. Two days of storage is a minimum. It'll give you time to find other solutions in case of a water supply problem. 5 liters per day per patient is enough to cover the needs for mobile clinics and outpatient departments. The needs are higher for overnight hospitalization in inpatient departments or IPDs. IPDs offer 24-hour care services. 60 liters per patient per day will cover medical activities, structural maintenance, disinfection, and laundry, but also personal hygiene, cooking, and drinking for patients and caretakers. Needs are even greater for the operation theater and delivery room. Here the standard is calculated per intervention, not per person per day. Surgical theaters and delivery rooms should ideally have their own water storage to guarantee continuity of these vital services. For isolation units such as cholera treatment centers, a lot of water is needed for specific disinfection measures. Since it's a sensitive and highly contagious disease, storage capacity should increase to three days. For viral hemorrhagic fevers such as Ebola, isolation centers have the greatest water needs, up to 400 liters per person per day. MSF uses reservoirs of different shapes and sizes, usually between 1 and 60 cubic meters of capacity. They can be bladders, poly tanks, temporary or permanent water towers, or metallic frame pools. The distance from health structures to water point should not exceed 100 meters. Keep in mind in your calculation of needs that up to 20% of the water can be lost from dripping or spilling.